Okay, here's the new the new uh, three view reverse camera. I'm in park right now. Okay, now I'm going to I'm going to back up. Now you see the lines appear, the pre uh, predictive uh, turn path lines, and you see the two side views there. This carrot will remove the side views if you want them to, but it will still be stuck at this screen. Now, notice you can't see home link. The way you can see your home link is by touching this while you're backing up. Okay, now you can see your home link, but you're not going to be able to see the two side views, but you can still see behind you. Now, if I want to go back to my little side views again, I just hit this again. So, yes, it's going to take a couple of key presses. Stop for a brief time and hit a couple key presses and then you're back on your way uh, just like it was before this is the default screen by the way as far as this is the full screen reverse camera that it's supposed to default to when you go into reverse unless otherwise specified if you dink too much with switching back and forth between the the small screen you saw and the large screen if you switch back and forth, you can actually lock up the car. And then I, I had to reboot the first two times I made this video when I was playing with the different features. But uh, that's another bug for another day.